Good day, and today we're going to show you how to create a Windows cluster without Active Directory. This is a new feature to Windows 2016 Server, um, particularly useful for those of you who maybe are looking to create uh, a shared environment such as a DMZ where you don't want to expose Active Directory credentials to potential hackers or denial of service attacks by repeated username and password attempts. So this is the, the practical reason that I see for this particular feature, although I'm sure others will find more examples. Now, very quickly, we're going to go through a couple of steps. The first one is we're going to need to install the PowerShell modules for what we're doing. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to need to enable my clipboard so I can paste these quickly. And we have two 2016 machines and just to quickly show the host names so we're installing the PowerShell modules for the clustering that we're going to be doing later the next part of this is we're going to override the default policy in Windows and so that we can create the cluster which normally you would need Active Directory for. So this is a changing of the variables in the registry key, just setting it to 1. This is the PowerShell command version of that. So properties item and then path to the local machine key. As you can see, we're almost done on the first server, second one almost as well. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and create a user account uh, for our cluster admins. I'm going to set a secure password, I'm going to make it long. And this is going to have to be a member of the admin group. So again, just make that account part of the admin group. You can use much longer passwords, and I do advise if it's a DMZ environment, create as long a password as you can. Uh, next, I'm not going to go with our original host names because these will be unmemorable to me and probably to you as well. So I've set a naming convention of cluster dash node and then name. So I'm just going to do that for these servers. So we're just completing the renaming part of this. So they'll restart and come back up with their correct names. I should also now be able to see that when I select login, I have my cluster admin account that I created. So our host names are now done, and the last part is I'm going to create the cluster. Now, I know that I have connectivity between the two servers. I do suggest that you check your local network before trying to do this. So validating cluster status. Now this doesn't need to be run on both. Uh, this only needs to be run on one of the two servers, or one of three, or one of four, depending on the size of your cluster. I can see that my cluster was created. I've got some warnings because I didn't create a shared local disk between them, uh, which I would advise that you do. And I can get cluster, 
and I can see the cluster exists on both nodes. Thank you, and that's as easy as it is.